Hello and welcome to Blue Pixie Cupcakes. I'm doing a Halloween special edition for you today and I'm going to show you how to make these gory severed finger cupcakes. For these cupcakes I've used my vanilla cupcake recipe which I've coloured red with some food colouring and my American buttercream frosting and I will include a link to both of those tutorials down below. So this is everything you're going to need to make these cupcakes and I will put a link to all of those um, down in the description box below. We're going to start off by making the severed fingers and I'm going to mix some of the skin tone modeling paste with a small amount of the teddy bear brown to get the color I'm after. Once you're happy with the color, you then want to take a small amount and roll it out into a ball. And then roll it out into your finger shape. We're then going to make these more knobbly and using your two little fingers we just want to thin out two areas just above where the joint will be and just under where the nail will be. Using the smaller side of the ball tool make a small hole in the bottom of your finger which is where we're going to add the bone. and using the larger ball to make an indent where the nail is going to go. Using a non-serrated knife makes some grooves in the joint areas of the finger. We then want to add some colour and dirty the finger up a bit. So to do this, take some of your peach edible dust and add to this a small amount of your chocolate dust colour. And using a paintbrush, add this to your finger, concentrating on the grooves and around the fingernail. To make the nail, I'm just going to take a very small amount of your modelling paste, the same colour as the finger you made before, and then I'm going to roll this out into a ball and press it out into an oval shape, just using some corn flour to stop it sticking to your mat. I'm then just going to push this into the fingernail area. And then using your knife, you can just add some chips and scratches onto the nail just to get that tortured look. You can add some colour to the fingernail as well. I also want to add some red colour to the finger to make it look more bloody and battered. So I'm going to take some of my ruby dust colour and I'm just going to mix this with some of your darker skin colour and then add this around the fingernail mainly and then slightly down the finger. Finally we just want to add the bone, so take some of your white modelling paste and roll this out into a little cylinder shape which is thinner at one end. And then use your knife to cut this at an angle. And you can also make some grooves to roughen it up a little bit.
And there we have our severed finger. Now to make the edible blood, simply add some corn syrup to a bowl. And then using your red food colouring, just take a small amount of this and mix it into your corn syrup. Be careful when using the food colouring as it can easily stain porous materials. So now we just need to assemble our cupcakes. So I've got my red coloured cupcakes here and I've transferred my buttercream to my piping bag with a large round tip and I'm going to start piping this in the centre of the cupcake and move this all around the outside of the cupcake and quickly and smoothly pull away. You then want to take some of your edible blood using a teaspoon and add this to the top of your frosting, pushing it down the side slightly so it drips all the way down. and pop on your severed finger. And I'm just going to add some edible blood to the end of that bone using a paintbrush. And there it is, some gruesome looking yet really tasty Halloween cupcakes. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and go on to make your own severed finger cupcakes. For more tutorials, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button.